Hey guys, Rick here, Bite Me Box Tip Ups. This is going to be your tips for use video, um, which you probably found the card already that brought you to this link. So we'll get right into this right away. Let's go right into the parts that you should be uh, seeing in that kit when you open it up. So you're going to obviously have a lid, um, you're going to have the box. These should all be um, either in the bag or in the can, um, which is a can like this, taped shut. Um, so if you have any extra parts other than this, just disregard them or put them on the side for later use wherever. Um, so you should have three hinges. You're going to have what we call a lid stop dampener closer. Um, you're going to have a reel assembly. You're going to have a cork with a screw and that screw is going to hold your cork on. That's the sheet metal screw. Uh, just one of each of those. You'll have an L bracket that's going to hold your reel on there. You're going to, this, this would be the one inch um, machine screw that's going to hold the lid stop on. Um, you should have 11 of the three quarter inch machine screws. You should have seven of the half inch machine screws. One half inch conduit or a quarter inch conduit hanger. That's going to be for your flag rod. Uh, this is for a quarter inch wing nut for holding your reel on. Uh, sorry, wing nut, wing thumb screw. Um, you'll have a sticker. Um, one flag. Uh, you should have one quarter inch lock washer. That's going to be for the uh, thumb screw, one handle, two flat washers. You'll have one screw protector, that's, which is going to hold your flag, <clears throat> the ball on the flag. Uh, you should have 19 of the elastic nuts, um, one can holder, that's just the lid for the can, one ball, one counterweight, and I believe that is it. So let's go into where everything goes. First and foremost, let's talk about the hinges. Um, the hinges can be a little bit of a, uh, an, an adjustment on them. There's a lot of slop in them, so just kind of stick with it. You want to try to get that lid as straight as possible on there. Um, it's very important on the hinges to, they have a flat side and then they have one side that has the curve. Uh, so you can see this side here has the curve where it actually attaches and then it curves down. This would be the flat side right here. So the flat side is gonna go on the box. That'll actually go on the plastic. The curved side will go on the lid. And it just gives you a little bit more room in there to prevent binding or anything. So if you notice anything binding or anything like that, double check that, make sure you've got those hinges correct. And then secondly, when you put these on here, you wanna kinda of slide all the bolts forward and then pretty much these will all be, the lid will be slid all the way down. Um, and what really works good is if you put just the end ones in and the end ones in here and then you can kind of get everything adjusted and then you can go right down the line and tighten them all up once you've got it you know set because if you put them all in there and start tightening them up and you realize something's a little crooked then you got to loosen them all back up so i like to just put you know four of them in or whatever try to get it preset a little bit and then put them in there double check it put the next ones in double check it and you want to make sure that that lid's closing nice and tight. On the lids, um, you'll notice they have a little bit of a concave to them. Uh, it's very important that that concave goes up. So in this situation, that lid's got a bit of a crown to it. So you'd want to have that up like that. Okay. The other thing that's probably obvious with the hinges, but this barrel part of it sits up, not down on there. Yeah. So you, you, you want the barrel up and then make sure your hinges are straight before you tighten them up. You can, if you make sure they're all good and straight, you can get away with just tightening all of these up um, and then working with off your lid and everything like that. But if you need to, you can loosen them back up. But like I said, it works good if you just use the ones. I just want to Rick take and, and show this again, just cause it's, it can be tough to see on there. So we're gonna hold it against a black surface. You can see if you look real close, one side is flat and one has a little bit of concaved. Again, the flat side goes up across the top, even with the bevel. And you can, you know, like Rick said, mount those first. The con, this other side goes down. You're going to have, you might have a little trouble with it binding and stuff. If, if that goes on, that, then double check those hinges and make sure you got the flat side on the top. Okay. So all your three quarter, these are all three quarter on the roof. This really simplifies it. Everything is three quarter on here. The three quarter inch machine screws. Um, you won't have any flat washers or anything underneath. Um, this hinge shares 
one bolt with the hand shares it with the L bracket. So your L bracket will use, it'll sister onto the one bolt on the, on the left side of that hinge. And then the other ones just, you know, bolts right through to the plastic. Um, then obviously your thumb screw goes there, your quarter inch lock washer goes in there, your cork, your machine screw, the lid stop. Um, when we get to that, that's gonna be your one inch machine screw. What you wanna do with this is get this nut good and tight. You can use your screw gun, screw gun and a pliers, get that one good and tight. But this second nut is a jam nut. So what you wanna do with that is just take your pliers and that one you want to manually tighten on there. You can hold this with a screwdriver so it doesn't turn, but then just turn this manually until you get that good and tight. Um, yeah, I'm kind of going backwards here, but so basically you're just wrenching that down until it finally jams that one. And you want this to be fairly tight, but not, I mean, it doesn't have to be super tight. And that helps hold your lid from blowing shut on the windy days. Plus you got a damper hole here that every time when you close it, you want to close that damper off if you want to throttle your charcoal down, which that's the tips for use video. That's a whole nother video. Which okay. by the way, make sure you watch the tips for use video as well. Very important. We'll send that to you too. That's probably more important as far as the heating and everything, yes. Yeah, so obviously your handle goes here. These are all half inch bolts, uh, machine screws. Your other, that would be the six, and your last one would be in here holding your flag bracket, which is the conduit hanger. Um, so that, when you get your flag in there, you want to kind of adjust it so your flag sits nice and straight. And when you start bending that flag around a little bit, sometimes they need a little tweaking. This, this can bend out on you and this could pop out of there. If you have to, you can take that back off and just close it up. Or another good little trick that I learned with it is if you just kind of put the pliers on the top of the nut, you can kind of squeeze a little bit and that closes that right up and it, and it, and it sandwiches it right to the back of the box and then it's in there good and tight. That, and once it's in there, you're not gonna have to worry about it, but that's only when you're trying to, if you're trying to tweak your flag and get everything nice and straight. And, and, and uh, so that part should be fairly easy. Um, the counterweight goes on the flag. That just um, snaps right on, splits into it, it'll spread apart and snap on, yeah. Your can holder, that would be the last three quarter inch bolt that you have. Um, and there's a flat washer that goes between the can holder and the box. And then your nut just goes right on there. So the bolt just goes right through this hole. And then your flat washer would go between the box. That serves as a buffer so it can pivot nice and easy so you can adjust it forward and back. So that's the one flat washer. The other flat washer is gonna be on the lid stop out here. That's to keep, because you're wrenching this so tight to get that nice and tight, that's to keep this from getting drawn into the plastic. So your two flat washers are gonna be there. And I think... The flag ball, let's talk a little bit about oh putting yeah, that on. Flag, the flag ball, up. what you're gonna do with that, this cap is uh, oversized, so what you're gonna do is take a scissors and you wanna cut about a quarter inch off of there. And all that's gonna do is serve as your, your support underneath. So you can just slide that up. And then the top part, what you want to do with this is if you got a Gorilla Glue or any type of glue, Gorilla Glue works really good. Um, just put a dab of that in there, or if you need to, silicone will probably hold it pretty good too, but I like Gorilla Glue. Just put a dab of that in there and push that on there, and that'll keep that cap from, they're on there pretty tight, but the guys that are rough on the units or whatever, they, they can have problems with them, you know, if you get hooked on something, pulling off. But if you glue them on there, they stay on real good. Um, as far as the counterweight, that's pretty much just forcing it right on. It looks like it wouldn't go on, but you're just pretty much forcing it on, and then it's good to go. And that flag rod, you just put out an angle in and work it right into the box. Yeah, I think so that, they go in pretty easy. But That, you're just kind of coming in from the inside. Turn it. And bang, you're in. Right. Let's talk a little bit about that reel real quick, Rick. Uh, just, I guess, it'll probably be in the tips for use video too, but just, uh, I guess, the functionality of it. And to make sure you're putting the line on the right way so when you pull down, we'll show how that, that trips in here, that when you put the line on there, that you get it on the right direction. Well, you're basically winding it this way, clockwise. You're winding it on. So your reel would be sitting in there like this, and you're going to wind it on like this. The other thing is if the reel doesn't turn, look like it's turning, see that it's turning the way you want to kind of have it turning. If it's not turning super free, you can pull this apart. There's Shall a little pinch, pinch clip right here. And you just basically 
push that clip in and it pulls right apart. Just make sure this is all clean of grease. They send a lot of shipping grease in there and we do wipe them out, but sometimes there might be a little excess in there. Get it good and clean. And all you ever want to do on here is use a little bit of lightweight oil, uh, just household oil. Um, and it works real good. You don't need to do a whole lot with them. They're usually really good and they get freer as you use them too. So just kind of hang in there and they'll, they'll get really turning free after you use them a while. So let's just set that real quick and just show them, Rick, if they, they pull on the line, how which direction that's got to turn. So you're going to set it like that, basically, and you can adjust your counterweight. So when the fish bites, that reel needs to turn this way. Counterclockwise. Make sure when yep. you start putting on the line, you pull it, that the, it turns counterclockwise. Otherwise, you'll wind it all on, and then you'll have to redo it. Right. Yep. So you're winding it on like this, and then when a fish takes it, it's going to be turning that way. So I think that that should cover everything from an assembly standpoint. If you think you're missing something, don't hesitate to send us a, you know, an email or um, contact us through Facebook Messenger, or whatever. We're real good about getting back to you. If you think that maybe something's not right, uh, we'll talk you through it. Um, yeah, shoot us your phone number and you know all that good stuff. We're, we're more than happy to call you if you're having issues. But again, it really helps to watch this video a couple times. And if you get hung up somewhere, you can rewind, stop, forward. And again, make sure that you watch the tips for use video as well. Um, yeah, other, I, other than that, I think that's everything. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and uh, hopefully you catch a lot of fish and send us some videos. We always love getting those videos. We'll share them on our page. Um, I shouldn't even say hopefully you'll catch a lot of fish. You're going to catch a lot of fish. Definitely watch that tips for use video. Do what we we're doing in that video, and I'm telling you right now, you're gonna you're gonna kill them. Thanks, guys.